You know, it's got to be a love story that is unexpected, that's honest, that's human, that deals with the reality of where Maverick is at this time in his life, um, and deals with it triumphantly and, and, you know, brings him to an ending that he deserves. This is a story that I think people have wanted since the release of the original Top Gun. How did you crack this? <laughs> Well, first of all, I'm one of five who cracked it. There are five writers on this who've done an amazing uh, group effort lifting the story that we see today. You know, I think everyone started from the same place, which is what's the feeling that the original movie evoked in all of us. You know, I was seven years old when I saw Top Gun. I didn't want it to end. I saw it seven times in the theater because my mom brought me back seven times because she wanted to see it that many times. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to be part of reproducing that feeling, but also doing something new. Also, you know, uh, making us feel for Maverick, making us feel for the world of Maverick uh, in a way that we, we hadn't done before. And I'm so impressed by the work that this group did. I've seen it, and let me just tell you, oh my God. Um, as someone who was such a fan of the original, what was the most important thing for you to kind of pay homage to in the sequel? This movie had to take place on the beach. It had to take place on the beach. It had to be in a place that we wanted to be. You know, I mean, this is, here we are in San Diego, right next to Miramar, right by where the naval base is. You know, this is the culture of Top Gun. Uh, and, uh, you know, to do it anywhere else would have been a mistake because it's, otherwise, how are you having fun? How are you going out to these bars and drinking with these pilots on screen and, you know, just feeling like this is like me and my friends, you know, hanging out on a Saturday night. We're not nearly as cool uh, as, uh, as these pilots, but I mean, you know, you have to do it there. So I, I think that that was a big part of it. And then the other big part of it was, this has to be a love story. You know, it's got to be a good love story that is unexpected, that's honest, that's human, that deals with the reality of where Maverick is at this time in his life, um, and deals with it triumphantly and, and, you know, brings him to an ending that he deserves. I got quite misty-eyed during this movie, so. Cool. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks.